Good evening, all this video. Today we have a spade review on the Vickers Mark E light tank. This little guy is the starting vehicle for the finished part of the Swedish tech tree. It isn't a reserve, this is a completely optional vehicle to research. Same with the rest of the finished line. So, is this starter vehicle any good? Well, let's take a look. So, the Vickers Mark E is actually very reminiscent of the T26. And that is because this vehicle was the predecessor of the T26. I suppose you could think of it like it's its dad or something. The reason why I say this is because the Vickers Mark E was originally a British tank. Finland did buy a few. They bought some with the 37, which is what this one is. They even bought some with the Independence 47mm because it was meant to be an infantry support version. And they also bought a few various different other variants as far as I know. This vehicle is one of the Bofors 37mm variants. So, what makes this vehicle different from the T26? Well, before I do that, I need to discuss the actual history of this vehicle. So, the Vickers Light Tank, aka the Vickers Mark E, this vehicle was essentially rejected by the British Army due to the suspension. They felt like it was going to be too much of a hassle. The Russians, however, seemed to enjoy it. And so they bought the license and obviously a couple of examples just to really get the nail down and everything. And they enjoyed it from there. Of course, the vehicle itself is different from a T26. The top speed is a bit better on this vehicle. The engine is a bit better. And the turret is not offset to the left on the Vickers Marquee compared to the T26. The Russian T26 is offset to the right. Now the vehicle's weights are very similar, however the Vickers Mark E actually has a bit better armour, which is surprising. And we're going to cover that in, as we go along. So the Vickers Mark E has a slightly more powerful engine, but not by a lot, and it is lighter by a little bit. This means that the top speed is better, the acceleration is better, but it's not going to be keeping up with anything like a Stuart anytime soon. So, let's take a look at the armour. So the armour is for the most part 17.5 on the parts of the hull with some parts being 10, and of course the driver's area being 10 as well, which is rather vulnerable because your loader and your driver are all sat here as well, and any shot that penetrates here is likely to hit any components behind here, i.e. the horizontal turret drive. So just bear that in mind. And if you're hit on the right side, this will obviously take out your gunner and also your commander here. So just bear that in mind. But as I said, there are some parts which are thicker than others, but generally the armor is not really going to save you from a lot. There is some overlap with the 13.6mm of armor, the turret does curve round a little bit, and there is a little bit of what appears to be double stacked armor. I can't confirm though, I think it's just the way the turret is modeled. But the armor on this thing isn't really what's going to be saving it. As you come around to the side, it gets even worse with 10mm and 13.6 and even 10 on the back of the turret with another strip of 17.5 being on top, and then of course, the top armor being quite terrible. The armor isn't going to save this tank, but the gun can at least provide some performance which will be sufficient. However, not with the stock round. The stock round and the stock grind of this tank definitely isn't amazing. The AP has very poor post pen, and will require crew sniping in order to make work. However, it can still get some kills if you know what you're doing. The main selling point of this vehicle though is the APHE. Now of course it's not as good as the Russian APHE, but it still hits pretty hard. With 55mm of penetration and 15 grams of explosive with an 800m a second muzzle velocity, this gun is perfectly acceptable for this BR. Whilst the mobility could be better, it is still better than some of the other tanks that it's going to run into, i.e. the Italian ones, and will certainly be able to do some work if it's put in the right position. The gun depression on the vehicle is negative 10 and the gun elevation of the vehicle is 20. So it's got good overall vertical guidance and everything so it can certainly do some work. So going into the engine it's only a 92 horsepower engine which that doesn't look like much of an engine to me but you know that's just how Gaijin modeled it. And of course the forward speed is 21.8 miles per hour. The reverse is still roughly the same as what a T26 is. 
so don't expect to be backing up out of trouble very easily. But the APHE is what really sells this tank. Obviously, you will have to get past that stock grind. But once you do, as you're going to see in the tables, this thing can do some work. Speaking of my little tables, how about we go take a look? If you want to skip to the gameplay and ignore the tables, there'll be a timestamp in the description below to skip to the gameplay from this point forward. But anyway, let's go take a look at my little table. And welcome to the little table. So, there's nothing really to talk about here. It's only four matches to spade this tank. Um, obviously, as is with the new spade review format, I'm not really going to be talk. Well, the new version of it, I should say. I'm not really going to be talking about the uninteresting battles. So, we're not really going to talk about battle number one there. But we are going to talk about the three other battles. So, battle two is probably the battle you would have seen, if not for my recording. Well... It was both a fat finger on my part and the fact that I was like, this this match is nearly 10 minutes in, we're not getting anything in terms of like usable footage, and then all of a sudden, multiple tanks come out and I get kills with stack or stock AP. But to be fair, I wanted to show you the APHE anyway, so you're going to be seeing Battle 3. But first, Battle 2 was 4 ground kills, no assists, no caps, no air kills. Didn't die in that match, it's the only match that I didn't actually die in the vehicle. 910 SL, 1110 RP. Battle 3, which is the match you're going to be seeing today, is 0 air kills, 7 ground kills, 0 assists, 1 cap, did die, 1259 SL, 1579 RP. And Battle 4 was 0 air kills, 3 ground kills, 0 assists, no caps, did die, 763 SL, 745 RP. Quite a simple and short spade, I've got all the camouflages unlocked on the vehicle as well. Pretty simple really, like, there's there's nothing really to talk about, it's a nice little vehicle, obviously I will be reviewing the premium at some point, um, which will be worked on over time once I get it, I'm not picking it up right now though, I'm waiting until the sale drops just so I can get it in bulk, it's, my, it's a lot easier, but yeah, this vehicle's definitely a good little star, obviously the stock grind isn't great, so you will have to bear that in mind, but once you get past that, it's a fun little vehicle and I heavily suggest people giving it a try. Especially if you didn't enjoy the lack of mobility in the T26. This thing just has that little bit more which could potentially help. And not only that, the turret arm is a little bit more reliable on this thing from what I've found. So, you never know. You might have some fun with this compared to the T26. But anyway, I'm going to have to jump to the gameplay now. It's me and Alonius in this match. And we're going to take this thing out and see what it can do. And well, as you see with the APHE, it can certainly do some work. I'll see you all on the next one. I'm gonna drop some Arnie. Yeah, Into Lick Don! It's really because of the um, because of the spam. Because I just I don't know, it just distracts you? I, I you know, I could just grown tired of the same damn boy saying attention to the designated grid square. Yeah, it can be annoying, especially when they're just spamming um attack the D point as well because like the D point used to be a thing many years ago I remember when it was and like it it was certainly a meme but like come on it doesn't need to be spam that much I'm gonna try an old spot which I haven't used in years well he just got eaten There's an old spot that I used to use up here. I think he's just round here, the SBJ. Make sure there's nothing there, though. There's definitely an SBJ round here. Bound with my usual closer support. Okay, there's an SPJ just around the corner here. Yeah, I just spawned, so you have. Oh, have hello! How are you doing for this fine day? That's the engine. I'm trying to ammo rack it, but the. There we go. 
Mr. Bond. Got rid of him. Uh, oh, what? Gaijin, that should have killed it. There's a Stridswagen in the cap right now. No assist on the M31 I just damaged. I think there's something coming from the left. Yeah, call the targets. Yeah, there's a stretch bargain just in front of me, I think. I can hear its diesel engine. In front of you where? Uh, just in front of me, near these buildings. They're capping C. Ah, yes. I, I know where he's sat. It's you, almost, you almost blew me over. <laughs> nah, not even close. Well, I'll take the cap. If I can get into it in time. That's I'm bombs. Idiot. Hey, you got him. Yeah, but the war got me. I think I can hear something coming my way. Nice cast, by the way. There's another SPJ coming. Hello. APH3, it comes in handy. That was a bit over the top. That was very Hollywood there, Gaijin. Oh, yeah, there's another tank. Can't pop out behind there. Like a good little boy. Shit, missed. Let's hope he doesn't notice that. Right, we're gonna have to head up here to try and shoot him. If this thing's got the horsepower, because I don't have the engine mods. Surprisingly, it does. To be fair, given how little horsepower this thing has, it has very good traction. I can't really, like, deny that. There goes him. Yeah, the, the traction on this thing's pretty good. Like, it can get up a few hills quite well. Like, it, it's got power than, like, more power than what you think. Like, it can definitely get into better positions than what I thought. I can get into my spot on Japan, so it's definitely got power to get up there. I was just about to turn the turret for that. Right, well I think it's safe to say the T-28's got this locked down, so let's head towards B. Uh, isn't there a tank? Uh, there was. Oh, there is right there. When you said... Yeah, he's moving. When you, when you said there is no, isn't there a tank, I was like, is there a tank? But um, I didn't know he was actually there, so I'm glad I looked. I'm going to drop some arty up that way, so just be aware. I'm going to try and make my way towards the B point. Oh, oh something's shooting. Tank left, tank left, tank yep, left. Yep, I just saw it, I just saw it. I don't have a shot. It's behind the rocks. got my watch gun me. looking up. I'm going to watch your back. Pull forward a little bit and just angle your armor. I know it's against a Swedish boy. Okay, you're good. Uh, I'm just looking for your rear now. There's a plane strafing you. Where's he gone? There he is. Uh oh. See, so you're, you're named a boat for 37. You're secretly an anti-aircraft gun at heart. Okay. I mean, you've smoked up, but to be fair, that's probably the best thing you can do. I was going to try and look for anything that was attacking you, but I can't really see right now. I took a portion of the JNA's tail off. 
Um, so I'm gonna make my way towards the B point. We've got a few tanks here. <laughs> At least my throat's feeling better. I don't like. I've still got a bit of a chesty cough, but like nowhere near as bad as I was the other day. I mean, I have no idea what shot me because I can't see anything that way. Well, I can see a Stridswagen out there. Surprised it didn't penetrate, to be honest. He is firing APDS. Got him. Stop firing APDS. Don't need to spam it all time. Like, come on, use some APHE. What's wrong with good old APHE? It's a good shell. That is an ace. Nice. I'm doing pretty alright. Like I say, I, I definitely like this tank. Like, is it the most mobile? Obviously, I've got. I ain't got engine mods at the minute. Is it the most mobile tank in the world? No, it is not. Is it a relaxing tank to play because it's nice and smooth? You don't have to rush everywhere? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, I was trying to shoot at that plane then. Oh, hang on a minute. Hello there, sweetheart. Got him. That's six. Not a bad little result. Still got a lot to do though. Oh, tank. Tank here. Right there. Hold on a minute, I've got something to my right. Where is it? It was just it just got marked. I I was looking at the minimap for you and then I was looking down there. I lost track. I just saw the. I think I just saw a shot from like here. No, he's behind the rocks just over here. I don't have an angle on that. I'm going to attempt to maneuver. Are you okay over there or do you need me to come over? It's a T28. Fine, but, you know, it's going to stay there until I do something stupid like drive out and stuff. <laughs> no, of course it is. That's how most players operate. I got the driver on it, which that's not good. A little bit high for that driver's hatch. Thank you very much. And he got me. I'll take that. Seven kills, one cap. Not a bad little result. All I will say is though, is you definitely want to get the APHE to make this